Joakim. Yes. Uh, almost eight years. It's been a really long time, long time. Uh, working together. Yeah. And now, uh, I, re I remember how we all started. Mm -hmm. uh, I was the CEO. Uh, it just took a few weeks and I, I found you, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, that was September 2012. Yeah. We had lunch at... Uh, Lila Toriet, I yeah. think that was the invitation first. by Mikael Kretz. Actually. Mikael Kretz, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, that, that's how it started. And yeah. uh, since then, uh, camped together mm -hmm. eight years. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know, being a sport journalist, sort of, how, <laughs> how does it feel? Yeah. No, it, it feels uh, it feels really great to be honest. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I remember that first uh, lunch we had, where uh, I. Um, I felt that uh, this is something. Uh, I felt that we had a connection. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that there was uh, a discussion also. I mean, I was in a situation where I needed to make a choice uh, in my career. And uh, I know that we uh, we had these discussions about uh, it's more fun to, um, to be a pirate than join the Navy. <laughs> yes. When I had the option to be like in Crunchfish or uh maybe a, a bigger company yeah and uh i remember i, I became I, the pirate <laughs> yeah yeah no it's cool uh i i remember that you actually had I, I remember your job offer at that time you had a job offer more than twice as much salary yeah. uh, i think you had 125 yeah. and i i remember i said i i can offer 60. uh <laughs> that's what we, we we can't afford more mm. and still still i thought it was fantastic you choose to uh take half salary and come mm. with us. Mm. Why did you do that? Mm. Do you remember? I, I think it was a lot related to uh, being part of a journey. Uh, I mean, this was early stage in the company. Yeah. Uh, we had, uh, we, we had a, uh, I would say an embryo to a technology that I felt was uh, right in time. Mm. Uh, I felt that uh, you were a good person. I met Paul, he was a good person. And I think that that team uh, were the fundamentals to to build a uh, company. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that was uh, basically what uh, what I was thinking back then. Do Do you also know. feel because I re I remember uh, you you being uh, I I would say more of a product guy than I am because you were saying well the product is not there yet. Mm -hmm. That's what you said in September mm -hmm. uh, or October mm -hmm. 2012. Yeah. And how right weren't you? <laughs> that it, and it, it took it took some time to get the product up to be really slick. Yeah. And, and I think we've had our you know it's it's still going it's, it's gone through a lot of phases. And um, did did you did you also underestimate how hard it would be actually to to get the product to a level where it would perform? It's it's always difficult to to estimate the effort that is needed. So yeah. uh, yes, uh, I, I did. But what I think even more underestimated was uh, the speed in the market. Yeah, because it, it's uh, it's all about timing. So mm. you need to have like a product, you need to have a team, but you also need to have a market that is ready to to pick up your sure. uh, your technology yeah and uh, that I think was something I underestimated and yeah. uh, uh, I'm not the only one <laughs> yeah. but uh, but still and uh, we are still on that journey I think and yeah. uh, I, I believe that we have a, a great product with uh, with a great position in the market yeah but still sort of waiting for that breakthrough and that is we, we are sort of world-class today yeah. in a two-dimensional type of uh, interaction we are. but but we need uh, we need to see depth yes. because uh, what i understand is that there are they're going to be virtual objects yeah. and you need to grab them you yeah. need to be able to take them <laughs> and it needs to look real yes. when you grab any and and to grab any grab and virtual object you, you we need to understand depth to uh a f to a better level than we are today indeed Th that that is what needs to happen and and, and probably also understand the uh, uh, the hand uh, the, the skeleton model of a hand yeah. the uh, anatomy of a hand mm -hmm. the, it, these are the two things that we are mm -hmm. we, we need to we need to mm -hmm. step up one more level mm -hmm. but when we've done that mm -hmm. uh, we are ready for big time yes. yeah uh, do you believe in this vision that um, that uh, the AR glasses will eventually replace the mobile phone We've heard that, mm -hmm. that uh, it won't be the mobile phone who will be the central device. Yeah. It will be the, these AR glasses. Do you, do you believe in that vision? Will, will that happen? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
I think that uh, it will be step by step and uh, yeah. it will be like a combination with the phone and the glasses. But to some extent, uh, at the same, if you look at what, what happened with uh, with smart watches, right? Yeah. So they are now like standalone in, in uh, certain uh, sort of uh, mm. environments and so on. And, and the same will be for, for the air glasses that yeah. you will be able to run them as your mobile phone. Yeah. Sure. So so to take, to take us from where we are today to really be ready for a big time when uh, the volume comes, but that, that because they, that will come if if then uh, this projection is that uh, the AR glasses will take over from the phone, then then it will be billions of uh, AR glasses out there. Um, uh, what what do we have to do? Sort of, uh, you, we we talked about three D and skeleton. Is mm. is can we just lock some developer people in 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 a room and do that, or what else are we doing in the gesture area uh, right now? Would yeah. you say? Yeah, I, I think maybe not lock them, <laughs> but uh, but still, yeah. Uh, I, I think that uh, there is some some development needed for sure during the, uh, the yeah. coming. Is like, it the year uh, years development or what? what yeah, what? it's hard to say, but yeah. uh, I mean, we we need to follow because there, uh, as I mentioned before, there are a lot of things happening in in hardware side as well. Yeah. So we need to sort of be be in sync with that, and yeah. uh, there are new sensors coming and so on. That, and I think the most important thing here is to to make sure that we when when one of the big Players, if that is Apple or mm. Google or, or somewhere else, someone else uh, launching their uh, their smart air glasses mm. for for the consumer, that becomes sort of the uh, the big hit. Mm. Uh, I think it's important that we we have a technology that sort of can can support that kind of uh, um, expectations of the market that yeah. that creates. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so that needs to be happening. So we need to still be alert to what's happening uh, yeah. in the industry and uh, be aware of the development in different areas. But uh, yeah, to uh, to some extent, then focus on the development and uh, secure that uh, that product. Take it sort of to the next level, sort yes. of from where we are yeah. today. So yeah. it's still another another lift that needs to be done. Yeah, another lift. Another lift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but your role now going forward going to be wider. Mm -hmm. uh, and and I'm uh, I'm very happy that you are man enough to stay on uh, because I think it's um, uh, to have been the CEO of the company for so long uh, as you have been and uh, and uh, staying on uh, I, I think it, it tells a lot about your professionalism uh, and, and there are there's a role for you to play so so tell me what what role do you see yourself playing because you're not just going to work on the gesture side because that's going to be a small part of your mm. job what else are you Going to help us with? Yeah, I mean, to to be totally honest, uh, that is something that uh, that I'm thinking about also, and something mm. we we uh, we have to continue to discuss. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, uh, I I still believe in in the company as such, um, mm. but also to to step down from from the CEO uh, position, even though I think it was. Uh, given where we are and what's happening in in the company, I think it's uh, it's the right thing to do at this stage. But uh, it might also be a, a right uh, right moment for me to to do something else. Yeah. So uh, so I need to to consider that uh, yeah. as well, of course. Yeah. But um, with that said, I uh, I believe in the company and I. Uh, uh, I think there uh, there is a role for me. There is a lot of things that need to be done. Yeah. And if I look at uh, the uh, the the big uh, things happening now in the proximity side, uh, I definitely think that there are a lot of things related to not the least sales and marketing and uh, and building sort of the uh, the business parts and and the yes. fundamentals. In, because that's in, where you came from, what, uh, sort of uh, before yeah. being a CEO. What, mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit what what what's your background? Uh, I I know some some companies where you've been the uh, say. No, you know, basically the global head of sales. Uh, you you've done that, yeah, a few times, yeah, haven't you? Yeah. So uh, it has been various positions. I mean, I've uh, been in the industry for like 20, 20 years, yeah. a little more than that, actually. Uh, I have an engineering background, so master in science, but uh, it has been more towards uh, sales and marketing as yeah. uh, CEOs in, in several companies, but also in, in sales and market, marketing for sure. Yeah. And uh, uh, so so that part is what, uh, what I really uh, love to do. And yeah. uh, uh, sort of building, building the... Um, the, uh, the 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 sales fundament in a company and, and creating the uh, uh, w basically what what is needed to to build the business is yeah. uh, is important whether that is like uh, 
uh, you know, customer contact or or creating the business models or or sort of pricing the, model. Yeah, pricing model or or the the product offering, packaging, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. on. Uh, there is a variety of things, but um, yes, for sure, that is something that I. Uh, yeah, but, and 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 I think that we we quickly moving into that right now. You know, we uh, I, I know you you hired Patrick, who is uh, sort of head of Sweden in yeah. a way. Uh, you haven't been that much involved in India, but when India starts taking off, we for sure needs uh, to take care of all those uh, sales opportunities to make sure that we deliver yeah. uh, and and that we have a, a price. So. I, I see, you see tremendous amount of work for you to do. And uh, now having Linda as well on board uh, on the international side, uh, these going to be quite cool accounts. And, and you worked on some of those multinational accounts, uh, interacted with them before. So I, I, I yeah, we, we need senior help. So I, I for one, you know that. Uh, I, uh, I, I, I think I told you that when you, when you had a choice back in 2012, uh, you had a choice of uh, you know, having twice as much salary or coming on board here. And you choose Crunchfish, uh, and I, I, and I remember I told you, I'm gonna offer you a cake, whatever you choose, uh, because if you choose the other one, it must be a damn good offer. So uh, uh, let's celebrate your good offer for you. And I, and I, I think I, I, I know we talked about that. That uh, you have a cake offer now again. That either you stay on, and then then we celebrate that. But if you move on, then there is a cake for you then also. Because we celebrate you, we celebrate. I think the success you've had over eight years, but also that, my God, you found an even better things to do than uh, this fantastic opportunity, and and that's worth celebrating, I think. Yeah. So uh, sure. yeah, and I coming in here this morning, driving in, I I thought um, we wouldn't have been here if it hadn't been for you. I think you should take that with you. Um, uh, I, I worked at Ericsson back in the 90s, and they, they had three, three, three lead words and uh, values. It was respect, professionalism, and perseverance. Mm -hmm. And I, don't, I can't think of anyone that sort of has those three values than you. I think without your perseverance mm -hmm. uh, over the, all those years, because it hasn't been a straight journey with Crunchfish. It hasn't. Mm -hmm. And uh, the professionalism that you've shown all the way and the, and the respect for your everybody around you i think it's uh it's been great joachim and uh i think you should be proud of yourself i think uh i don't think crunchies would probably have maybe have wouldn't have survived without you so i i think you should take that with you whatever you know in in your life really i think yeah. that's important and i can see that just like i saw back in 2012 for sure uh you are a good catch for anyone and and that's i i you know um you're a great CEO, and uh, uh, I, I can understand that people want to, you know, hire you tomorrow. Uh, I hope you stay on, but uh, uh, you know, it will be cake, no, no matter yeah. what, uh, what 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 you choose. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I really appreciate that, and uh, it has been uh, sort of great years, uh, and uh, hopefully great years to come as well. Yeah. So uh, I really appreciate um, that you. Appreciate my work, and uh, I'm I'm happy to be uh, still be part of this, yeah. this journey. No, I think it's been fantastic, Joachim, and, and uh, be proud for uh, whatever you choose now in the future. Uh, as I said, I hope you stay on, but uh, whatever you do, uh, you know there there is a cake coming, yeah. no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thank you so much for all your great effort. Thank you. Thank you.